if you want a great nation, you must do something to produce great human beings, there is no other way. <clears throat> if you want to produce great human beings, we have to facilitate and structure methods and systems where human beings are not curtailed. Every human being can find full expression to who he or she is. This is a structural thing which needs to happen, which is beginning to happen, but India has had a, a traditional system that people don't necessarily depend upon except for external activity. For their own development, they don't depend on any particular outside system. This is the reason no matter what happens, you will see the country is not disturbed in a real sense as other nations would be disturbed because there is an organic sense of being completely organized within myself. This is something that the entire world should get. This will be India's greatest offering how an individu individual human being can be fully organized within himself or herself in such a way that no matter what happens, they will stay their course. There are many ways to look at this. No nation which has been occupied by very strong forces for over eight hundred to thousand years has retained its culture or religion or music or uh, clothing or anything, everything has changed. You just look at Europe, Arabia, North America, South America, Australia, Africa, everything has changed. This is one nation which has retained this because there never was a leader in this society. Everybody is self-organized by themselves. Is it not good enough if we have good roads, good bridges, good facilities? All these are important. But the most important thing is that if you sit here, you are complete by your own nature. This is the most important thing. Otherwise, you can sit in air-conditioned rooms and still boil inside of you.